On June 25th, fans of classic television, and especially those of us who grew up watching Saturday morning TV during the 70s, received the absolutely awful news that Land of the Lost actor Spencer Milligan had passed away. And although the news came from a trusted source, The Hollywood Reporter, I really didn't want to believe it. However, when Wesley Yer and Kathy Coleman published a video reacting to the news, sadly, I knew that it was true. In the video, they both talk about how Spencer became a father figure to them and how much he impacted both of them in a very positive way. I'll post a link to it in the description section of this video if you'd like to check it out afterward. Prior to Land of the Lost, I had no idea who Spencer Milligan was. However, once the show hit the airwaves, Spencer became one of my favorite actors. Why? Well, because for two seasons he played a kind and resourceful father who always put the best interest of his children in front of his own. Yep, he was Rick Marshall. Father to Will and Holly, played by Wesley Ure and Kathy Coleman, respectively. And even though the special effects employed by the show weren't all that great, I bought into the whole premise largely because of the wonderful chemistry between the actors. I've talked about Land of the Lost before in other videos because it was something truly special. Produced by Sid and Marty Croft, this show wasn't like their other shows. You know, H.R. Puff and stuff, The Bugaloos and Lidsville. No, this show was the brainchild of Star Trek alumnus David Gerald. And as such, it frequently introduced characters and plot lines that challenged its younger viewers. Don't get me wrong, it was definitely a kid's show. But it wasn't the standard kitty fair. It was a real bummer to see that when the show returned for a third season that Spencer and his character had been written out of the series. In his place was his brother, Uncle Jack, played by veteran actor Ron Harper. Kathy has talked a bit about the transition from Spencer to Ron in her book Run Holly Run. In a nutshell, it wasn't a great experience for any of the actors as well. They missed Spencer incredibly. He had decided to take a stand about the use of his image in the show's product merchandising. These days, I don't believe that actors would have the same difficulty. At least I hope they don't. After Land of the Lost, Spencer found work on TV shows like Logan's Run, Bionic Woman, and Quincy Emmy. He was keeping darn busy, but at the same time, I think he may have realized just how special the role of Rick Marshall was. I'm not saying that he regretted his decision to walk away from the show, but I am saying that I'm sure it was hard for him to see this show that he loved and that was so much a part of him move on. I think the last thing that I ever saw Spencer in was all the way back in 1982 on the Police Squad TV show, which starred Leslie Nielsen and would later transition to a series of motion pictures. I didn't catch him in anything after that, although I hear that he made an appearance on the daytime soap opera General Hospital in the late 80s. Anyway, after that, Spencer just seemed to disappear. But the truth is, he made a decision to leave Hollywood, and to be quite frank, he never looked back. After moving around a bit, Spencer eventually found his way back to his hometown of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, and became very involved in helping local actors hone their craft. He was on the board of directors with the well-known Third Avenue Playhouse, and continued to teach there for years. A few years back, Wesley, Kathy, and Phil Paley, the actor who played Chaka in the original series, went on a road trip to visit Spencer. They hadn't seen him in years, and the reunion, from what I understand, was super sweet. Spencer said this about his former Land of the Lost castmates and friends. I loved working with those kids. I truly enjoyed them. We had a lot of fun. You know what? I believe him. Land of the Lost was a special show, and those first two seasons, well, they were extra special. Getting back to that video featuring Kathy and Wesley sharing the news about Spencer's passing, it's clear that there was just so much love between them. I think it says a lot about the man himself that he left such a mark not only on his Land of the Lost castmates, but also on anyone he happened to encounter. Spencer's obituary does not list a cause of death. Given his advanced age, I think it's reasonable to assume natural causes. Although it is a bit understandable for all of us to be sad about his passing, 
I also think that this can be a time to celebrate the man and his lasting impact, not only in his creative works, but because of the kind of human being that he was as well. So let's use the comments section of this video to share our memories of him. And while you're at it, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you found this video informative, and I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thanks so much for watching.